Did you know there's a way to get custom configurations of Apple Macs without paying full price for them? Um, today I want to talk about my experience buying my M1 Mac Mini from the Apple refurbished store and why I think it's a really great way to get Macs with custom configurations for less than their recommended retail price. Hi everyone, in here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a software developer and here I show you how to build great software through my own tutorials, projects and reviews. Now, you may have realised from my last Mac video that I'm always on the hunt to get products for less, especially tech products for less than their RRP. Um, for all my Apple products I've bought until now, that means buying them through the Apple refurbished store. And now over the 12 or so years that I've been an Apple user, that's four different machines. I've had two Mac minis, one Intel, one M1, and I've had a MacBook and a MacBook Pro. These days it's my first place when I look for and uh, when I'm looking to make an Apple purchase. There's been a lot of deals available on the M1 since they were released. Amazon and other retailers have some really big deals over Christmas and the Black Friday. Um, and they seem to regularly be slightly below the RRP. But the problem for me is that these are nearly always on the base models with 8GB of RAM. Um, and given these machines aren't able to be upgraded, I often want to get the 16 gig versions. So I want to max out the RAM so that I don't ever have to upgrade. Um, because the hardware can't be upgraded, you want to get as best a spec as you can afford um, to make it as last as long as possible. However, there are some ways you can save money on Apple hardware from buying from Apple themselves. And my favorite one, as I've said, is through the Apple refurbished store. Now you can find the store on a special link hidden right away at the bottom in the footer of Apple's main website under refurbished and clearance. And they have a number of offers on all sorts of Apple hardware, including Macs, iPhones, iPads, and the various accessories that they all have. And the amount you save will depend on what you're buying, but on most of the M1s that I was looking at, it was around 15%. But I think for certain phones it can be as much as a 30% saving. So I think it was like on a grand phone it was almost £300. Uh, for lower end M1, that's probably going to be around £100 to £200 saving. All the hardware comes with the same one year warranty as a machine new from Apple. And the only obvious difference that you're going to get um, when you receive it is that you're you get a slightly different box styling so you don't get a picture on it you get a box that looks like this so you have a plain white box with underneath it says um, Apple certified refurbished on it um, so the contents are obviously the same with the main device power cable and it's unlikely you're going to be able to tell that the items are even been used um, Apple seriously has a very good refurbished program um, it, compared to something like buying a, through a refurbished scheme on Amazon. Um, there tend to be like battered boxes and things like that. There's nothing like uh, buying refurbished from Apple. I've never had to return any of my hardware so far. It's been as reliable as you'd expect from any Apple new product. So the offers that they have in their store, the refurbished store, are constantly changing and cycling, particularly within demand items, and they go out of stock really quickly, depending on what you buy. Um, it really depends on what Apple have at any given time and what they've had sent back, what they're discontinuing. So with the base model M1 MacBook Airs, they will pretty much go out of stock instantly within a couple of hours of them appearing in the store. So they quite often get posted to deals websites and things like that and they'll vanish within a couple of hours. And you have to be on those sites and regularly, you know, regularly checking and jump on any deal if it matches something similar or within the spec that you want. So with these 16 gig versions, anything that matches a 16 gig version. Now, as a side, um, my first attempt to purchase uh, the M1 Mac Mini of the spec that I wanted failed because Apple had and Apple had to call me because they had so few of that particular model. When I'd gone through the purchase process, they, it turned out that they couldn't actually fulfil the order with what they had in stock at the time. 
and I had a very nice lady phone me and apologize, uh, you know, prolifically that, um, that they weren't able to do this. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, an interesting side note to everything is that I actually almost went ahead and bought a, a Mac up, you know, an M1 Mac at the full RP. I, I actually bought it, received it, and then saw that the refurb models were, um, coming in stock um as this was being uh, you know as this was being shipped to me yeah so they had the 16 gig versions of the same machine coming to stock f for the same price that i'd paid but with twice the hard disk so uh, in this case it was a terabyte model instead of a 512 gig model and i knew i'd be really peeved for the remainder of owning a device like that if i let that slide so although it's a bit of hassle i actually ordered the refurb one as well uh waited for both to turn up uh before promptly sending back the original one so getting a refund sorry uh so for a time i actually had two of these new m1s in my house which was you know a little bit worrying because you know they're not the cheapest of things uh and this also meant that i got to experience the apple store return process as well as the purchase process uh, I had a slightly weird thing with the return process in that the UPS guy didn't issue any sort of receipt, so he literally just took the device from me, ha having gone through the process on Apple's, um, you know, return website. Um, but I kind of put that down to, you know, the the fact that we're in a pandemic. Um, it was obvious that it was a UPS guy because he turned up in his brown van and brown shorts. Um, and I didn't think to, uh, at that point because I was just wanting to get rid of it to kind of say anything to the guy. Um, but I'm happy to say that went without issue too. Uh, Apple get the device. They notified me that they got the device back um, and they refunded the full ROP. Um, something weird buying it new actually was that the, re the full price new was a penny more um, than the re... Uh, the refurbished model so the custom configuration although they list everything at 200 adding 200 pounds on actually had to pay a penny more or new and i have no idea why that is probably a rounding error on apple's side but there you go it's weird that a bug like that would creep into their website um there's no reason why i should have been worried about the return process to be honest because i literally didn't even open the box at all when i just sent it straight back uh, without having done anything with it this leads nicely onto a point that's worth considering if you're looking to get the hold of the latest and greatest machine, and that's that you're not going to be able to make a refurb purchase of items soon after their release date. There has to be like a whole kind of return cycle that um, customers have to go through, and Apple have to kind of decide what their what batches of models they're going to be releasing on their site. So with the M1s, for instance, they were only appearing in the refurb store four months or so after they came out in November. So they were appearing in the refurb store in February 2021. And they're more regularly cropping up now. Uh, we're talk speaking in May 2021 now. But I, like I said, they are very popular and they were regularly dropping in and out of stock. So you won't be able to do any review videos, for instance, on the launch day. Now, for me, this isn't really much of an issue. I can wait a little bit longer. But depending on whether you're pushed for time, you want to get a machine quickly, this may be an issue for you. There's some other things you can do to save a little bit more. So on top of the refurbished prices, um, if you're a business, uh, the refurbished offers are still open to you as well. So you're able to purchase through um, the refurbished store if you need a machine for your business. And this is obviously going to save you even more because you've got the tax benefits that come with purchasing through your business rather than direct. If you're not buying for your business, you can even purchase through an affiliate site like Quickco. Uh, this is going to save you 2%. I think it's 2.2% on your purchase. And it works out at about an additional 15 quid or so on a Mac. So it's not a massive saving on you know a purchase of a grand, but it's still money saved. Um, so yeah, as you're able to probably able to tell, I'm a really big fan. I've, like I said, I've bought four of these machines through the refurb store. I think it's a really great way that you can save some fairly significant cash. You're saving a couple of hundred quids uh, on a device that you're going to buy. 
Um, and you can get these custom configurations as well, which you aren't able to do with other retailers. Um, so yeah, it's a really good way to get these higher end machines uh, for slightly less. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. You can find more like this on my channel. I'm regularly talking about this sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please subscribe for more stuff like this. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Did you know there's a way to get custom configurations of Apple Macs without talking properly? You need to actually make sure it's recording again. Like you didn't just then, then you spent 15 minutes talking to a camera without being recorded. Idiot. Let's wait for the train to pass. So we're recording there. We are recording here. Good. So I can actually record. I've got a nice clapper balls. Good, isn't it?